In this example, we will determine the error bound and the sample mean from a confidence interval. Suppose that we know a confidence interval is from 50.52 to 55.78, and we want to find the error bound and the sample mean. Let's first determine the error bound, and there are two methods to find the error bound. The first method is to subtract the sample mean from the upper bound of the confidence interval. In this case, we don't have the sample mean yet, so let's use the second method, which is to subtract the lower bound from the upper bound, and then divide by two. So in this case, the error bound is equal to the upper bound of 55.78 minus the lower bound of 50.52 divided by two. And now let's go to the calculator. We do need the numerator in parentheses. We have open parenthesis 55.78 minus 50.52, close parenthesis, divided by two, enter and we have an error bound of 2.63. And now to determine the sample mean, again, there are two methods. One method is to subtract the error bound from the upper bound of the confidence interval, and the second method is to add the upper and lower bounds and then divide by two. Let's use the second method. So this time we're gonna find the sum of the upper and lower bound and then divide by two. So the sample mean is equal to 55.78 plus 50.52, all divided by two. Going back to the calculator, open parenthesis 55.78 plus 50.52, close parenthesis, divided by two, enter, and we have a sample mean of 53.15. Before we go, let's also verify the other methods. So sticking with the sample mean, the first method was to subtract the error bound from the upper bound of the confidence interval. So x bar is equal to the upper bound of 55.78 minus the error bound of 2.63. Let's just verify we get the same result. And of course we do get the same result, 53.15. If we go back up to the air bound, the first method was to subtract the sample mean from the upper bound of the confidence interval. And we now know the sample mean is 53.15. So the upper bound is 55.78 minus the sample mean, 53.15. And of course, we do get the same result, 2.63. I hope you found this helpful.